and this is the six pack supersets workout subscribe to my channel the workout description is in the video description here are the movements superset one we're going to pair a front plank march with a goblet alternating reverse lunge the core move is kind of a primer pairing with a multi-joint movement to burn fat build muscle you'll love this combination your abs will hate it so we're going to start here plank position eyes aligned with the fists you're going to keep a straight line head through heels push the upper back to the sky kind of round it out and then from there Drive one foot and toe into the floor, activating that quad. Come right back down. Keep the hips and shoulders square to the ground. Keep marching it out. Keep control. You'll do that for a minute. Then immediately go right into goblet. Reverse lunge, pull it straight up the body. It's gonna work your shoulders, arms, and abs more in this front loaded position. You'll also stay more upright, which is easier on the back and knees, harder on the quads and glutes. So lock it in, step back, and you're gonna get as many quality reps as you can in that minute. Nice little back-to-back -back pairing. You'll love this one. Up next is superset two. Superset number two, we're gonna prime the glutes and hamstrings and activate the core in move one with a glute bridge march. Get on the heels for more glute ham work, also working the shins. Pull those toes to the shins. Drive the elbows in to engage upper mid back, rear shoulder, and lock it in from there. Keep that hip height, get hip separation, working hip flexors and glutes. Hip flexor top leg, glute bottom leg, the core is stabilizing. March like this and control for a minute, all the while driving the elbows in to activate the entire backside of the body. From there, we're going staggered hip hinges. So pick a weight that's light enough to allow you to do it on one side at a time with that slight stagger. So about 80% of the weight's in that front leg. So what I'm gonna do is get that stagger set, hinge at the hips, palms facing, flat back, tabletop position, pull through, switch the step. So by alternating, we can create more load onto one leg at a time each leg rests while the other works, but that whole backside is on fire here. Lower it right to about knee shin level, hinge at the hips, we're not squatting. Superset number three, hips, shoulders, core. We're gonna start with bottom half get-ups in the first minute. Let that weight push that shoulder down into the ground. Hand is about 30 to 45 degrees away from the trunk. This leg is bent, this leg is straight. I'm going to move on to my left forearm, push through the left hand, and then lower back, in control. Both shoulders are active, so make no mistake about that. One of the best corrective strengthening stability moves on the planet. It's also going to pre fatigue those shoulders and get you going in a big way. From there, you're going to get up. Dumbbell stays in that right hand. Another minute here. So you're going to go right here, positioned. I'm going to do a hammer curl, step through, overhead press and then bring it right back. So by loading one side of the body, the obliques and core have to work super hard to stabilize. Adding the step increases the stabilization, stabilization demands. Arms, abs, shoulders get lit. Total body, total upper body combination move here. So curl it, step through, press it. Back, curl, step, press, back. Keep repeating that pattern, and then you will do the next superset doing the same thing, dumb on the left-hand side. Hope you enjoyed this one. Subscribe to my channel. And if you want a free three-day trial of my home fat loss workouts with minimal equipment, you can do anywhere. Go to thedailybj.com today. Peace.